Wesley Strader, um, I guess I want to know, everyone's been saying fishing's been a little tough. Was it the same for you this week? Well, tough as beaver teeth, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, you know, it's it's pretty, it's 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 kind of rough, but, uh, you know, I had two so-so days, and then today was the toughest day I've had, so, you know, I don't know what happened between the first two days and the day, but it, it got a lot tougher for me, but I, I think maybe just because the areas I was in, I just tried to explore and do something different, but, you know, uh, it's tough. It, there's no doubt about it. Anywhere you go in August, it's going to be tough, unless, yep. you're, unless you're up north, you know, in one of the Great Lakes or somewhere like that, but it, uh, if you're in the south, if you're below that Mason-Dixon line and it's in August, it's going to be tough. Well, even though the fishing, you know, hadn't been, uh, you know, stellar by any means, at least you probably stayed cool out there this week, right? <laughs> you know, actually, uh, the wind's blowed a little bit. It's been pretty cool. As long as the wind wasn't blowing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last time I was here, it was it was stifling hot. Scorching, I mean, it was yeah. really, it was hot, hot. It, probably one of the hottest tournaments I've ever fished, but... Uh, you know, it's, a little bit, it's been in the 80s, it ain't been too bad. I mean, uh, that's all right. Not, it, not typical for this place this time of year, and it seems supposed to be cooler during the tournament. I think it's supposed to be in the 60s the first morning we blast off, so that's very unusual. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it'll make them start biting. <laughs> uh, for you, did you sample, uh, did you check some of that deeper stuff and shallow stuff this week, or did you kind of <laughs> set it one way or another? Yeah, I, 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 I did a little bit of everything, and uh, but uh, it seems to me that like a lot of the fish are suspended. There's not a okay. lot of there's not a lot of fish down on the bottom, and the thermocline set up at about 22, 23 foot, and there's nothing below that that I can see. But I'm having a hard time uh, getting the fish to bite. I mean, sure. you can see them down there, and you can get them to chase your bait up and down, but they'll just like kind of nibble on it and won't eat it. It's just, it's really weird. It's not. Uh, Typically, when you got a lake, it's got a lot of spots, and you can catch those spots. But yeah. man, they're super, super duper hard to catch. So, uh, being that the the fish are suspended out there, um, is it something where will we see kind of a schooling uh, type of bite play this week for for some of the some of the top guys? Yeah, I think so. I think you're gonna have, the the guy that's really gonna do good in this tournament. He's gonna be on some schoolers. Maybe maybe a few. You know, I'm not saying his whole bag is gonna come out of schoolers, but right. he's gonna catch one or two or three a day out of those schoolers, and then he's gonna run. You know, whether it be brim beds or, you know, out deeper, you know, you might just get two or three bites a day out deeper, but they're probably going to be good ones and the ones you want to weigh in. We've seen in the past, uh, it's kind of been, you know, like a 10-inch worm and a topwater. have kind of been two big players. Are we going to see that again this week? Yeah, you will. You're going to see, uh, that, that's probably going to be your two big key baits this week. Uh, uh, somebody might figure something out a little bit deeper out there, but uh, as far as from what I've seen, I, I mean, I've really struggled to get a bite out there. I mean, I can see them, but I can't catch them. Well, it'll, it'll be uh, fun to see how you come out and swing at them on Thursday. And good luck to you, Wesley. Thanks, Thank you, man. Thanks, appreciate it, man.